In this video, we're going to talk about some properties that you can use with the get context method. And basically, we used three methods in the last video, the move to, the line to, and the stroke method. And again, in this video, we're going to go ahead and use some properties. And the first one we're going to take a look at is called stroke style. And you can see I've typed that in right here. And what this allows you to do is add color to your line. And in this case, I'm going to use a hex code. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. And actually, I want to warn you, this isn't going to work because this is a common mistake a lot of people make. So let's go ahead and load this up and we should not get any color. And we didn't. And I expected that. And that is because all the properties and methods that you use to alter our line have to come before the stroke method. The stroke method is kind of the last method that you want to use. He will actually paint the line. So once the line's been painted, all the work is done. So that's why we need to go ahead and move this above the stroke method. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're just going to place that line right here. There we go. So let's go ahead and get rid of this line. Let's save everything up and let's go ahead and reload the page. And there you can see the line is now colored. All right, so there's two more properties that I want to show you in this video that are used quite a bit. The next one is the line width property. And this basically will do exactly what the property says. You can increase the width of the line. So let's go ahead and do that. And of course, we need to call our object. And then we specify line width. And we're going to go ahead and let's set that to 12 pixels. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's reload our page. And there you can see the line is now thicker. Now you can also round off the end of the line if you want. And to do that, we use the line cap property. And there are a couple different values you can use. You can use one called square, but the one that is most commonly used is round. And that will just round off our line. So let's go ahead and do that and let's see if this works. And it did, see? The line is now rounded off. Okay, so those are the three main properties that you're initially going to use with a basic line in HTML Canvas. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.